Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm joined again today by Dan Blundell, who is with Nano One Technologies. Dan, you guys have had a very, very exciting uh, past month. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, announcements in lithium around your cathode stuff. But, I, you know, personally, what I want to hear about is uh, your cath or sorry, your cobalt-free battery announcement. Uh, what is a solid-state battery? So a solid-state battery gets rid of the liquid electrolyte in a lithium-ion battery. Okay. which is the flammable part of a battery actually, and replaces it with glass or a ceramic material between the two electrodes. And it allows uh, the manufacturer to uh, put a very ultra-thin lithium anode on it. So it actually halves the size of the battery, makes it safer, costs come down, and energy density goes up. So it's a, it's a very attractive uh, architecture for batteries. Very much next generation. We're not going to see them probably for two to five years in the marketplace, but we're, we're really thrilled to be involved with it. Well, it sounds like with what's going on in the cobalt market, there's going to be a lot of interest in anything where you can eliminate that from the process. What do you think? Well, I, I absolutely think so. We're working on both cobalt you know, containing materials and cobalt free materials. Um, the, our our cobalt-free high voltage spinel is particularly applicable to solid state batteries, so it's a, it's a natural fit there. Uh, do you, now, is this primarily going to be an automotive application or would there be other places that that battery could be used as well? Uh, anywhere where the, where the energy density, and that would be portable electronics, uh, anything, anything where, the, where the, the density and the weight and the thickness of the battery um, is, uh, has consumer value, so that would be in electric vehicles, uh, consumer electronics tools, everything like that. So a direct competitor to the lithium ion space? Uh, well, it's still a lithium ion battery, actually. Okay. So, so the cathode materials are pretty much the same. You're still inserting lithium ions back and forth in, in the battery. So it's still considered a lithium ion battery. It's just that you're, you're replacing that liquid component with a, with a solid component. Dan, the stock had an incredible January. Have investors already missed the boat, or is there more to come? Absolutely not. They definitely haven't missed the boat. We. Uh, uh, I think what we saw was the investment community recognizing the value that we've already put in and, there's, and we've got a lot on the go here and I think there's lots more to come. Uh, some of the partners we're working with, some of the uh, agreements we're working on uh, will certainly bring value to the table. Great. Dan, I understand that you've actually agreed to be a speaker again at the, uh, at the BUDS Batteries and Blockchain event on May the 3rd and 4th at the King Edward. Any preview of what we should look forward to? Well, first of all, may the fourth be with you. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, you know, we've, we're, we've got a lot on the go, um, and I think there's going to be a lot to talk about, a lot of relevant stuff. Uh, you know, uh, whether it be next gen batteries or cathode manufacturing today, or, or working within the lithium supply chain, a lot of relevant material here. Well, it's great. It's exciting. Thank you for coming back in, and we'll look forward to the update at the conference. Excellent. Thank you.